principal ideal domain is an integral domain in which every ideal is generated by a single element. Now, if f is a field, then the ring of polynomials generated by that field is one of these principal ideal domains. Why is that? Well, first of all, just a special case. If the ideal I'm talking about is just the zero element, then it's equal to the thing generated by the zero element, and so let's cover that. In any other case, there's some non-zero element. And let's let g of x be an element of i of minimum degree. Our eventual goal is to show that the ideal is equal to the ideal generated by g of x. Okay, well certainly the ideal generated by g of x is a subset of the ideal because, of course, g of x was in the ideal, so anything that we can create out of that has to be also in the ideal just by the properties of what an ideal does. Okay, so what we need to show is that there can't be anything in the ideal that's not in this. Why is that? So let's say f of x is some element of that ideal. By the division algorithm, f of x has to equal g of x times q of x plus some r of x. Okay, but hold on here. This is in the ideal. And certainly, since this is a subset of the ideal, this is in the ideal. So if I say r of x is equal to f of x minus g of x q of x, that must mean that r of x is in the ideal because adding two things in the ideal, you have to get something in the ideal. But again, by the division algorithm, r of x is a lower degree than g of x, and g of x was an element of minimum degree in that ideal. We've got a contradiction. So it must be that the only way we can uh, get around that contradiction is if r of x equals 0, And so that would mean that f of x is a multiple of g of x, which means that f of x is in this. So there we go. Every ideal has to be generated by this. Now, just thinking about the proof we just did here, we've actually kind of proven something else. If it's a field and we've got a non-zero ideal, then g of x is an element of that. Actually, that should be... Hold on. Never mind. I've got this exactly right. If we've got a field, we've got a non-zero ideal, and g is an element of f of x, that ideal is generated by that polynomial if and only if it's a non-zero polynomial of minimum degree in that ideal. That doesn't follow from this theorem, but it follows from our proof of it. So, really what it is, for any ideal, 
something of minimum degree, a polynomial of minimum degree in that ideal will always generate that ideal.